the bowling release, one of the most talked about topics in our sport. And bowlers have a lot to say what happens in our release. Lift up on the ball. Don't lift up on the ball. Fingers on the inside part of the ball. Frisbee throw, football spiral, load and unload your wrist. Today, we're gonna get a grip on the topic of release, revving up on the art of bowling. To kick things off on the topic of release, we have a special guest singing his hit single for us entitled, Release Me. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the lanes of Las Vegas, I give you the legendary Revless Presley. Well, thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Whoa, please release me. Let me go. For I, I love striking when you throw. I really do, baby. To leave me home would be a sin. Don't do it too bad, honey. Release me and let me strike again. Thank you. Thank you very much, you beautiful audience. Thank you. Give it up again for the great Revless Presley, everyone. Okay, now back to the topic. One of the most asked questions I get is, Coach, how do I get more revs on my ball? In order to answer that, we first have to see how revs are generated at our release point. And it all begins with our fit and ball layout. A proper fit is imperative to effectively and consistently release our ball. So make sure you get your hand measurements laid out by a great pro shop operator. We can't out coach a bad fit. The release of our bowling ball at the bottom of the swing only takes a split second. Our thumb exits the ball first, leaving only our fingers in the bowling ball. Next, our fingers rotate around the bowling ball as they also exit the finger holes. So how do we increase our rev rate? There are three things we can do to generate more rev. Number one, get our thumb out of the ball quicker. Number two, increase our leverage by keeping our fingers underneath the ball. And number three, have fast fingers through our release. Let's break this down. Getting the thumb out of the ball quickly is a matter of snapping or unloading our wrist. Some call this the yo-yo release. Imagine holding a yo-yo in your hand and letting it go. You start with a cupped or loaded wrist and you uncup the wrist to set the yo-yo free. The wrist action of the yo-yo is how we get our thumb out of the ball quickly. The faster you can do this, the faster your thumb comes out. By keeping our fingers underneath the ball, we allow our fingers more runway to generate rev. Think about what happens when we shorten our leverage by having our fingers positioned closer to the top of the ball instead of underneath it. We wouldn't be able to apply much of anything to our ball, reducing our rev potential. A great way to practice your release is to use the no step drill. We set up at the foul line in our finished position and we train our wrist to stay cupped with our fingers underneath the ball at our release. We uncup our wrist at the bottom of our swing. The idea is to be able to accelerate our fingers through the ball at our release. The quicker we can snap our wrist, the quicker the thumb comes out of the ball. Remember, it's not our arm swing that's getting faster. We don't wanna muscle the ball as that would cause inconsistencies. We only wanna speed up our hand at the bottom of our swing, snapping our wrist to get our thumb out quickly with fast fingers following through at the finish to our target. A very effective tool to help us practice our release off the lanes is the release trainer from Eileen's Bowling Buddy. The release trainer gives our forearm, wrist, and fingers a good workout, giving us a good feel for snapping our wrist, building up our muscle memory. Check out our review on this and some of their other tools in our past video. That's all we got today on the topic of release. Here's where we're gonna have to let it go. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and be part of the revolution. And to close out this episode, back for his second frame, the one and only Revless Presley. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Yeah, none but a house ball, not in all the time. Yeah, none but a house ball, not in all the time. Well, you ain't never thought I'd take it and you ain't no ball of mine. You said you were high reps. Well, that was just a lie. You said you were high reps. 
Well, that was just a lie. Well, you ain't never thought a turkey and you ain't no ball of mine. You ain't none but a house ball. Nodding all the time. You ain't none but a house ball. Nodding all the time. Well, you ain't 